Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my current personal project. As some of you know, um, I'm a professional artist, and my work outside of YouTube and Patreon demonstrations is quite different from um, what I do here um, on YouTube and on Patreon. I suppose in a lot of ways it's quite similar as well, but I get the chance to be a lot more involved, to take things a lot further, to um, spend a lot more time on my personal projects. And so today I'll be showing you how I work on and develop a project using my sketchbook and research um, and then come up with the first painting in a new series. So this personal project or series that I'm working on now is all about the beautiful traditional Thames sailing barges. Um, and so in order to find my way into the project, I like to sketch around the subject and try and familiarise myself with the shape of the sails, the boats, the kind of all the equipment they have on board so that when I come to actually creating the paintings, I'm familiar with the shapes and the proportions and hopefully can do a reasonable job of um, creating sort of good likenesses of these historic craft. My sketchbook that I'm using is this portrait orientation Sea White of Brighton ring bound sketchbook. It's got a nice hard cover and it's made from um, mixed media acid free cartridge paper. Um, which is sized for extra strength and the paper is 160 GSM so it's nice for ink work, painting, drawing, it'll take basically whatever method of sketching I want to do. So the first thing that I've done here is I've started to sketch out just the rough shapes and configurations of the masts and the sails and the profile of the um, the hull of the boats themselves uh, from different angles, um, either sort of um, from the side or from the front or from the back, trying to sort of work out how to capture the look of the wind uh, filling the sails of these beautiful barges. And I've also been working on some more detailed studies um, with ink and graphite and in this way, I can get a feel for the kind of compositions that I want in my in my finished paintings. So this sort of sketchbook work, I think, is absolutely vital from the really simple, simplistic sketches to the more detailed work. And um, again, these graphite sketches trying to capture movement, um, not just in the the. the boats themselves and the wind filling the sails but movement in the sky and movement in the water below. I don't think I could actually work on a finished painting without all this sort of preliminary sketching and all this sort of rough sketching and more polished sketches are really helpful when it comes to completing a finished painting. So the sketchbook is for working on the sailing barges themselves, trying to work out um, simplifying the shapes whilst keeping them nice and accurate. But the other thing that I do, as a lot of you know, is that I regularly do sky practices. I try and paint one sky a day at least. Um, and that's really important because skies are going to be pivotal in this project as the backdrop for my sailing barges and so these skies that I practice um, I can look at them and consider the kind of atmosphere that I want for each of my paintings and the sky will create that atmosphere and that sense of drama and that sense of light and so I hope you see how worthwhile it is to um, to sort of if you're a landscape or a seascape painter to incorporate a sketchbook practice and to incorporate a sky practice into your sort of art routine because it will really help you to be able to um, come up with some really unique and powerful paintings for your finished pieces. No matter what subject or what genre you paint in, it's this sort of exploration of your theme that helps you to discover new things, new ideas and unique ways of expressing yourself in your chosen area. Here's a slightly more abstracted experiment um, showing this sort of harbour scene, just suggesting it with marks and washes and detail. 
But in order for something more abstract to be convincing, then I had to explore the more realistic sketching of these sailing barges first before I can then just suggest them in a scene like this. Um, sometimes I will look at the work of master painters, like, for example, the painter Edward Sego, and this is my watercolour um, homage to him. It's my watercolour interpretation of his amazing oil painting, Suffolk Beach. And in doing this, um, I've been learning from um, the master uh, about painting these boats and so that when I produce my own paintings um, like this painting of this um, this sailing catch here then I can hopefully try and bring a little of my experience into the paintings and try and bring life and atmosphere into them too um, with these two racing sailing barges um, trying to use that loose loosely painted sky to give the impression of what I want to get across. Now here's my first finished painting. It's a line and wash painting trying to use a really atmospheric sky combined with a very simple sort of silhouetted form of the sailing bar and using a very expressive um, sky to add the atmosphere to what is in actual fact quite a simple sort of sketchy ink um, rendition of this beautiful sailing barge. Well, I hope you found that useful, seeing um, my process from sort of start to finish, from sketch through to painting. Of course, it's not the only way of doing it. It's my way. Um, every artist will have a different way of approaching a project and different work that they do. But generally, it'll revolve around a sketchbook practice like this, which is somewhere where we begin to develop ideas, take them further, find out what will work and find out equally as importantly what won't work in the sketchbook before we start work on the finished paintings. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments and if you have a particular way of approaching your sketchbook practice I'd be really interested to hear about that in the comments below. Well, thanks so much for watching and thank you so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, then please follow the links below and um, support Morgana or myself over there. Thank you so much and I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.